वेलकम गाइस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद द ऑस्टियोक्लास्टोमा इंट्रोडक्शन वी सॉ द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एक्सेट्रा नाउ वी विल लुक एट द ग्रॉस ग्रॉस बेसिकली यू ऑलरेडी नो इट अफेक्ट्स द एपिफाइसियल एंड ऑफ द लॉन्ग बोन सो बिकॉज़ इट इज अ बेनाइन कंडीशन द ट्यूमर विल बी बेनाइन सो द ट्यूमर विल डेफिनेटली बी वेल सरकमस्क्राइब द कलर दे आर सेइंग इज डार्क टैन करेक्ट dark tan and covered by thin shell of subperiosteal bone can you see anything like that it's covered by a thin layer of subperiosteal bone but i thought periosteum exists only in the shaft of the bone okay then cut surface of the tumor see in gross you will explain how it looks from outside then you need cut it what happens the cut surface of the tumor is characteristically hemorrhagic so you should not forget this word hemorrhagic necrotic honeycombed due to focal areas of cystic degeneration so there is a honeycomb kind of pattern you can see that here a honeycomb kind of a pattern right cystic degeneration focal areas of cystic degeneration honeycomb appearance where will you see guys <clears throat> osteoclastoma soap bubble appearance actually okay so what are the keywords you will write in the gross in the epiphyseal end it will affect it is uh, it's going to be well circumscribed obviously because it is benign dark tan color it is covered by a thin shell of subperiosteal bone in the cut surface okay let's make cut surface as a separate thing cut surface cut surface of the bone is characteristically hemorrhagic necrotic honeycombed due to focal areas of cystic degeneration now what else you can add here soap bubble appearance even that you can write here right soap bubble appearance correct lobular we saw all that word lobular large lobular or something was there right large lobulated osteolytic lesion lobulated okay shall we move on to the microscopy guys let's look at the microscopy of osteoclastoma now in the microscopy what exactly will you see this is again going to be in the epiphyseal end right the hallmarks of the hallmark features of joint cell tumor are presence of large number of multinucleate osteoclast like joint cells regularly scattered throughout the stromal mononuclear cells so here you can see the osteoclast joint cells osteoclasts are actually going to destroy the bone correct osteoblast is an immature osteocyte but your osteoclast is a bad thing so there are osteoclast like joint cells multinucleate osteoclast like joint cells scattered throughout the stromal mononuclear cells joint cells so here you have to explain so many things you'll have to explain about the joint cells then you'll have to explain about the stromal cells and you'll also have to explain the other features looks like so first of all what and all you will see this is joint cell tumor so you will see large number of multi nucleate osteo osteoclast like joint cells regularly scattered throughout the stromal mononuclear cells so the stromal cells are mononuclear oh oh mononuclear okay so they are mononuclear okay so where are we now joint cells okay first let us write this here multinucleate osteoclast like joint cells these are large number of 
large number of oxt- multinucleate osteoclasts like joint cells scattered throughout the stromal mononuclear cells joint cells okay we covered often these contain many hundred benign nuclei and have many similarities to normal osteoclasts these cells have high very high acid phosphatase activity so what they are telling here they contain 100 benign nuclei they can contain as many as contain approximately as many as 100 benign nuclei they are similar to normal osteoclasts that's why they are saying here they are osteoclast like they are osteoclast like joint cells they are similar to osteoclasts they have many similarity very similar to normal osteoclasts these cells have high acid phosphatase activity are you sleeping high acid phosphatase activity okay just will give you a wake up call don't worry guys we are studying the joint cell tumor that is the osteoclast uh something is wrong with what i said it is osteo clastoma that's why everything looks like osteoclast solely almost but they are osteoclast like correct <clears throat> so what are we studying now we finished the gross now we are looking at the microscopy in microscopy we are looking at the joint cells stromal cells and other features in joint cells we saw that there are large number of multinucleate osteoclast like joint cells they are scattered throughout the stromal mononuclear cells that each of these contain as many as 100 benign nuclei these joint cells are very similar they have a lot of similarities with the normal osteoclast and these cells have high acid phosphatase activity okay now coming to stromal cells let's look at stromal cells guys so we already know these are mononuclear cells here in this diagram i think we think we should you should see the diagram look at this osteoclast joint cells osteoclast like or osteoclastic joint cells stromal cells which are mononuclear these stromal cells um they are mononuclear cells and they are the real tumor cells the real and they are the real tumor cells and their histologic appearance determines the biologic behavior of the tumor so there's a lot of biologic behavior we'll come to that in the next uh, slide so basically for now you can understand that these are the real tumor cells and their histologic appearance will determine the biologic behavior of the tumor typically they are uniform plump spindle shaped round to oval cells with numerous mitotic figures can you see them round to oval they are uh, plump uniform spindle shaped round to oval cells with numerous mitotic figures mitotic figures i think they have not shown here that's all about stromal cell guys nothing to worry so let's move here back to the topic so stromal cells are mononuclear they are the real tumor cells they the histologic appearance of these stromal cells determines the biologic behavior of the tumor histologic appearance determines the biologic behavior of the tumor they are uniform the cells are uniform plump spindle shaped round to oval cells with numerous mitotic figures wow now other features let's finish off and then we will meet in the next video what do you say now let us look at the other features of the stroma the stroma includes scanty collagen rich vascularity 
areas of hemorrhage and presence of macrophages. So, what in all are there in the stroma? In the stroma, scanty collagen rich vascularity hemorrhage 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 macrophages are present okay so uh, does this give clarity on the microscopy or do you want more details guys we'll wind up this video okay uh, as of now what and all we saw we saw the gross then we are we are, have see, also seen the microscopy now still what and all is left cell of origin other giant cell lesions etc then some biologic behavior this much is left let us meet in the next video and see how much we can cover okay bye bye